Hi everyone, welcome to U96. Yep, we've got a new U-boat in U-boat the game and we are heading out on patrol. We're going uh, to make some um, our mark on the black pit. We're going to sector B7 to CF1 to go and hunt for any um, any ships that we may find in this area. So contribute to the uh, the black pit, you know, the, the area where um, the aircraft could not reach which is good so we're out here on patrol fresh crew fresh boat well I say fresh boat it's a little bit rusty around the edges but it's uh, it's doing great it'll do us for now um, so we've done about 250 kilometers uh, on our patrol zone you can see that up in the top right hand corner we've got to do a thousand and seventy nautical miles um, in this area we've done about a quarter of it so we're going to continue to patrol Hunting down any ships that we may find, and uh, and see what we can do. Yeah. So far, haven't seen a sausage, but I'm sure things will change. Fear not. I'll bring you back when they do. Wechseln auf E-Motor. Auf Seerohrtiefe. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, finally, after many days at sea, we spotted smoke on the horizon. There we go. It's a convoy. Now, work out the makeup of this convoy. So definitely an escort there. Can't quite see what that is. That looks like a... Oh, it's just a freighter. Another freighter. Ooh, that's quite a big freighter. What's that? To the freighter. Whoa! Hello! An aircraft carrier. Right. Well. Hello to you. An escort carrier. Well, I never. Let's get her. Uh, uh, she doesn't look like an escort carrier. She looks like. Flipping through the paperwork here. She actually looks like a, a proper illustrious class. Because I don't know if they've got escort carriers in here, have they? The escort carriers are the ones which are built off the chassis or the hull of a um, merchant ship. So, yeah, it is indeed an illustrious class cruiser. Uh, uh, sorry, illustrious class aircraft carrier there we go boom 23,000 tons right then let's get this set up first of all let's see where she is there is that her there that's got to be here isn't it no Not quite in my an extra body on. Anyway, we don't want to be sitting right here. There's the unknown warship. So who's dead ahead of us? She's dead ahead of us. Where's that destroyer? I'm wondering if it's this one here. Is this one here? Yeah, it is. So the the aircraft carrier is here somewhere. Okay. Plot of course over here. Let's get moving. We need to and spin round so we can use our forward torpedo tubes against the aircraft carrier. Let's do some manoeuvring. There must be a corvette there. There's the aircraft carrier there. It says unknown, even though we've identified it once. Uh, that's fine, we'll do it again and we'll start setting up um, the attack for that that vessel. It's going quite close as well. We can try and dive under these, right. There we have it. The beautiful aircraft carrier. Let's get her identified then. Recognise that. The illustrious. Wonderful, right. Um... 
Let's get her range set. Very difficult in these choppy seas, but we'll get an approximation. Go back there. 22 cables. Speed. Now. She's not doing too much, is she? She's good, because I think we've got a lot of T2 electric torpedoes, which um, they were free uh, at that port, and that is why we, <laughs> we've got a majority of them. Halfway there. I realize it brought up the um the flag. You can see it's the Royal Navy. Well the nature of the ship and the class of the ship we'd know it's the Royal Navy. Almost there to the end of the deck. There. Six knots. Lovely. Right. Let's use the hydrophone contact and let's get her angle about. Where are we? There we are. Angle about 31 degrees. Right. Uh, angular bow is 31. So, um, make sure it is 31 the right way. So, 31. Good. Um, make sure that's all off. We've got 6 knots, uh, 31 degrees, and uh, the range as well. So, we'll lock that on and start tracking. Good. Right. What we now need to know is her length. What is the length of an aircraft carrier? It's quite a lot. There we go. That flag's just popped in there. Brilliant. So she is 215 meters. Oh, okay. There's 200. So we'll go 200. So if we want to fire a salvo, we've got. Oh, they're not ready. Warm up some torpedoes for doubt. God damn. God damn it, man. God damn it. Um, we've got T1, T2, T1, T1. Right, so let's have a look at port, torpedo tube 2. What is the depth of keel? Draft is uh, 7.1. So if we go, what's that currently set to? Impact. If we go magnetic. I oh, will go impact and we'll just we'll set it down a little bit deeper. I think we just get it straight into um, impact status. Let's get the dispersion set for all of these. Oh crap, right. Stand by. If they've spotted us on hydrophone, we will fire and go. The angle's not great, but I fear we may need to just go. Thirty-eight. So currently reading. Thirty. Oh, I can hear alarms. Right. Tubes 1 to 3. Dispersion set. Tube oh, 1 is ready. Right. Dispersion. Wait for 1 to fire. We'll flood and then we'll fire. Oh, one. Close. Tube 1 away. Tube 2 away. Tube 3 away. 
you pull away. Right. Let's get out of here. Okay, depth charges are coming in now. They're reloading. Those torpedoes missed because the ship just stopped. Yes. How a 23,000 ton aircraft carrier doing six knots instantly stops is uh, obviously some new British technology that we were unaware of. So anyway, we're coming down here now to 90 meters. First run of depth charging's gone. Suppose we could um, switch off non-essentials to go quiet. Okay, there she is. Yeah, well, I know you know where we are, and we know where you are. We come back up. Oh. There is the illustrious. Right, there she is. Uh, let's get a, a range on it. Five cables. Speed. Is she actually moving? Oh, she is. Incredibly slow. Uh, what do we got loaded at this time? Torpedo tube one. They haven't warmed it up though. Right. Actually, let's get that to magnetic. Set that to seven point one, or seven, seven point five then, and we'll send that underneath to try and blow her out of the water. What's she doing? Two knots, if that. Come on. Tube two is also ready. Not doing six knots anymore, is she? Definitely not. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna be trying try and be very aggressive. So if they force us down, if they turn away, we're trying to gonna gonna try and come up and have a shot. Just to keep them honest as well. We like was that one knot, two knot? There, four knots. That doesn't feel like four knots at all. Right. Angle of bow. Eighty four. Ah. Yeah, there. Gone past the best point of firing. So tube one. Los! Fire. Two. Tube two. We'll send you in. Impact. Fire. Tube three is loading.
Okay, we got a good hit, and we got a destroyer coming right past us now. So we're just reversing up. He's going to cross our path. Periscope right down. The gunners haven't seen us. How have they not seen us? Oh, especially as we're breaching with the radar. Okay, but we've got to hit away. Tube 3 is now loaded, ready to go. So the magnetic one was a dud. It did not detonate, but the impact one did. And she looks to be listing. Now, I'm going to trust that we're still tracking her. Fire three. Let me see. We hit her about here. Oh, she's abandoned ship. There are life rafts. The aircraft carrier is sinking. Now, I think she has put a couple... You can see the aircraft have been cleared off her deck. They've taken off, I think. Torpedo so will there be... The torpedo was a dud. Oh, my God. <sighs> right. Okay, but I think she might, may have gone anyway, so that's good. So let's switch our attention to what's behind us. Um... I mean, this ship is going to be too close behind us, unless we can move forward. Stella, Stella. We'll be clear in time to get a shot on this one. I doubt it. The J.E.B. Stewart. We oh, seem to be Stella. far too close to him. Oh, Corvette coming right for us. That's the Stewart, I think. Far too close. Not even going to waste my time. Death charges coming down. Right, what we've done, we've come down and we've basically sat down on the seabed to try and mask ourselves against the uh, the seabed so they can't get us, or they won't immediately uh, see us on the observation. Uh, <laughs> that's close. Won't immediately see it when they're trying to um, ping us. I'm just going to sit here quietly. God, this is close. But that Corvette going to the rear of us, I think she's the one dropping all the depth charges at the moment. Shallow at the moment. Hope that's not a hole in those pipes. Come on, baby, hold together. This is where the paint's scratched off. All right, Cook, how's it going? All good? Steady, man, steady. I don't know we're here. So we're currently down at 112 meters, something like that. Doing okay. We're doing okay. It seems to be going off into the distance. Maybe we should um, ban the use of the toilet for the time being. Look, continuing to load the torpedoes. Good stuff. geladen. Okay, we've been listening in for the last half an hour and it sounds like the escorts have finally got bored and they've uh, 
left the area, or they are currently in the process of leaving the area to rejoin the convoy. Leaving the wreck of the aircraft carrier just kind of bobbing on the surface. She hasn't quite sunk yet. Just got a little bit more. She's been she's flooded. She's been abandoned, uh, but she just needs a little bit more encouragement to uh, to sink. So, if we do get a bit of a clear uh, clear horizon, then yeah, we may well uh, be able to pop up, jump on the deck gun, just get a few fire starting, just finish her off, just you know, get the last bit of air out out of her so she uh, completely fills the water and goes under. That's the plan. Nice and quiet. No damage from that attack, which is good. So, uh, yeah, all things considered. Um, two dud torpedoes. Well, four torpedoes missed because the uh, the aircraft carrier was able to slow suddenly. Um, then of the three torpedoes we fired, two were duds and one was able to strike home. Well, Which is probably quite accurate for early war situations. The torpedoes were very unreliable. So hopefully with a bit of research, a bit of, bit of work... We will certainly get those to be uh, far more potent weapons. Okay, we've manned the deck gun. We've got we've got armor piercing at the moment. Um, we've got a lot of armor piercing, not many high explosives. So, well, we we want to get some holes inside that ship. So let's get the range of these armor piercing, and um, that's what we want to do. Just let the uh, the water in. That's literally what we're doing. So, I'm not worried about getting fires going. Tell if I'm hitting or not. Try and get one into the superstructure, sort of see what. I think that's splashed right near the uh, the deck. Yeah, maybe we should m move a little bit closer, just so we can see Stella, what Stella. we do, really. Try and put some on the deck. That seemed like a good hit. Now we'll go and see if we can offer some of those uh, crew uh, an opportunity to come on board. She's sinking. She is sinking! An illustrious class aircraft carrier is ours. Huzzah. Hi everyone, welcome back. Look, we've got smoke on the horizon. Looks like a merchant ship, and over here, possibly funnel smoke, or it could be um, odd clouds again. However, what you may notice behind this uh, this uh, merchant ship, there's a U-boat. There's a U-boat tracking her. So, um, we may not get the kill on this one, but we are closing in with our fellow U-boat to see if what this uh, ship is and if we can we maybe do a boarding exercise as well but for now we're just going to try and close in close the gap and uh, and see what she is but yeah there's a good chance that our buddy over there may well um, intercept her and uh, attack before we get a chance to get near but let's see what happens okay we've spotted another ship as well that's where the alarm's gone off but um there's also uh, further U-boats in the area. We've caught up with the... There's, there's the other U-boat. Uh, we've caught up with the, the ship. She's a Spanish ship. So she is um, non-hostile. But what we could perhaps do is... Um, yeah, let's see if we can board her. And inspect because she may be flying a false flag. That's what I'm we thinking. We can't send a, a party over. Now, this freighter is unarmed and seems to be not escorted. While it sails under a neutral flag, ideally, we should investigate what it's carrying uh, and its destination to ensure that it is not smugglers ahead, are headed for an enemy port. So, we'll send a delegation to the freighter. Um, well, we've got three officers 
available, so we'll send those three officers. Engineers and a leader as well. Right, can we put a hat on? Yeah, we, we don't actually have any guns. Uh, and you can take uh, six crew as well. Head over to inspect. A couple of engineers, so we may be able to, you know, uh, spot any technical things. Really, we need a navigator and um, to understand the uh, shipping lanes. Right. Connections and engineer. Right. Merchant ship deck. After climbing the deck, the crew faces a cold welcome from the cargo ship's crew. What do you want? Asked the captain in German without exchanging any pleasantries. This is a neutral ship and you shouldn't be here. Uh, let's ask to see the shipping documents. You ask the captain for documents to state that the cargo is loaded on his ship and where it is headed. He was ready for that since he has these documents already prepared and hands them to you straight away. He looks a bit nervous when you carefully analyse the document contents. According to the documents, this ship is directed for the port of Lisbon. Mm, no. And transport medical supplies. If these documents are correct, this ship is not involved in the war and sinking it would lead to a diplomatic incident of some degree. Put pressure and state the documents seem to be false. The captain of the freighter raises an eyebrow and denies anything is wrong. He asks you to be more specific. Now, we do have... What's this trait here? I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, requires merchant trait. Oh, state that the confidence that the cargo is not normally carried to the port of Lisbon. The captain explains to you that the cargo is actually completely common for freighters headed for the port of Lisbon. He continues to tell you about companies that usually trade such goods and some ideas of where there is a demand for the destination city. Uh, he seems to be right. Hmm, okay, we're going to have to leave that. Let's go and um, search the cargo hold. Captain confirms that you can have a look if that's what's needed. So let's get this cargo hold inspected. An officer from your group looked around the freighter accompanied by the talkative sailor who speaks some German. He shared his views on the war and told you about his uncle married to a woman in Hamburg. Regarding the search, nothing suspicious was found. Officer looked at some of the cargo but found nothing unusual. Let's meet the captain in here. Let's view the transported goods, medical supplies. Okay. The interesting thing is, this is south of Ireland. We need to know where 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 was his um where was the port he set off from? Uh, go to the. What should we do? Go to the. Um. So we've got a Spanish ship claiming to be going to Lisbon. However, she's sailing perilously close, and uh, her course is for the UK. So I'm going to suspect that something's amiss here. So we're going to order the evacuation. You tell the captain that your orders oblige you to sink the freighter that you must evacuate it immediately. The captain, clearly angry about this outcome, and angrily responds that you don't have the right to do this. It's a neutral vessel headed for a country that doesn't participate in the war. That's wrong. At some point, he accepts that he cannot prevent this from happening and starts to wave his hand to the crew to proceed to the evacuation of the ship. Good. Let's return to our ship. So I'll show you where we are on the map. We're here, and he's heading that. So he's basically heading into Cardiff or into Liverpool, isn't he? And for those who don't know, Lisbon is here. So if he's a Spanish ship heading to Lisbon, he's either got lost, and you got to remember, you know, Ireland is a neutral ship, uh, a neutral country. That is true. Um, but I doubt he's come anywhere from there. So we are going to sink it anyway. Right, there she is. We've had to turn around because of the uh, the nature of the um, the boarding. We've actually we actually got past her a little bit. All right, we'll put some armor piercing along the. The alarms are going off on that ship. That's fine. Try not to put one into the head of the crew. Even though they do appear to be Swedish. 
after all. Not sure if that quite made it. Uh, take us back. We're drifting past them. Right, it looks like they are going down. Put a few more holes in them just to be sure. Bits coming off it. She's sinking. Nice. Good. Well, there's a, I believe, smuggling operation sent packing, which is good. Two days after sinking that believed smuggling ship, we sailed back into port of La Rochelle. The captain placed his report with the BDU, and we were debriefed on the finer details of our patrol. So the Monte Isabella was sunk. This ship was registered in Sweden and was carrying medical supplies from Halifax to Liverpool. Its gross registered tonnage was 5,720 tons. The ship fled, flied sorry, a false flag of Spain. We were correct that there was inconsistencies with the captain's um, story. So uh, we were right to sink it. We got an additional 300 Reichsmarks, Reichsmarks for that. And there we go. Mission complete. 8,000 um, Reichmark, Reichmarks, isn't it, um, was awarded. We've also got a, another officer assigned to the crew. Eberhard Marx, which is good. Welcome to the crew. We sunk the 5,720 tons from the uh, Monte Isabella. We were 29 days and 19 hours at sea we traveled 5,000 nautical miles the indomitable that was the illustrious class escort carrier that we sunk obviously we're, we're only getting rewards for merchant tonnage it would seem so yeah one aircraft carrier sunk the indomitable to our name and the monte isabella a swedish ship sent packing which was great Good stuff. Right, we'll get resupplied, reloaded, and we'll head out on another patrol next time. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to you, boat We'll do a little bit of this over the Christmas period and then uh, probably head maybe back to the Silent Hunter series. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this U-Boat episode, and I'll bring you more next time. Take care. Bye-bye.